So, hello, all. Um, I'm, I'm here to try to explain a little bit about this difference in the boost words about Syria and DevOps. But first of all, a little bit about me. Um, I have my LinkedIn, my mail, and this Agile JLMN 18 is my LinkedIn. So enjoy. <laughs> Well, what, what is SRL? SRL is something that come with Google uh, in 2003. And mostly like Google create this buzzword and they really have a really team, good team. They have all um, rules and they make books and everything for his own team. But why? Well, because he already have a, a really good website, as you know, but they need to be more scalable and more reliable, etc. and monitoring and do metrics and all the time trying to <coughs> get better service and not unavailability, let's, let's say like this. So mostly SRL, they, they do a bridge between dev and operation. But more deep in operation, mostly, because they try to get better service inside infrastructure. It's not just monitoring and something like our best friend Sysam Demins um, did in the past, but also coding and making some infrastructure code and um, in infrastructure software as well. Okay, and all the time to get better performance. I think. They really go for SRL in general is performance and high availability. And DevOps. Well, DevOps is a combination of development and uh, operation. And I, in, um, in my point of view, it's they come to break this barrier between these two silos. But for me, it's much more to fill up this gap. It's about culture also. So, and what is the difference between these two themes, let's say, or these two roles, or these two words, or whatever you think about it? Uh, as I told, DevOps is really more about culture. It's about mindset. You don't buy DevOps buying cool tools. So it's not like, oh, I have a GitHub, I have Jenkins, I have, a, I don't know, Grafana, I have a lot of cool, uh, tools and now I'm, I have a DevOps thing. Uh, I don't think so. You have cool tools, that's it. If you don't have culture, you don't have really DevOps in your, in your organization. And SRL. SRL is more for creating and maintaining the performance and availability for your servers. So as I told you, the, I think SRL is the evolution for the season been before. Like you're not doing anything anymore uh, manual as in the past. So we have m now more features, more tools, and you try all the time to have more time to, to, can, to work in, in, di in different stuff. Like you need metrics, you need the, you need the monitoring, you need to check it out uh, your downtime, etc. cetera. So it's, you really need the SRL because you also need the automate stuff in some way. So, uh, but why I'm telling here that DevOps is more automation if I say that SRI can have automation as well? It's not something that it's really right on stone, like, oh, DevOps just do automation, SRI is more system availability. It's correct, they are like this, but it's been confusing, confusing like DevOps and SRI can, can still be confusing, and this is, uh, something that your own organization will say for you and your profile as well. Like you can be DevOps and SRL and it's okay. Or you, or you can just choose one and say like, no, I wanna be more like this or be more like that. But also you have uh, everywhere, um, you can put in LinkedIn like uh, to, find a, to find a job and put SRL and DevOps and you feel that uh, a lot of, uh, of this role is almost the same. So I think it's more 
again, culture and philosophy and also uh, what you really want to do for your career. So uh, I'm here also to, to tell them what I'm doing in Hostel Road right now. I'm in Hostel Road uh, for four months, so I'm pretty fresh there. So, and, and these teams, the Sarah team was created about one year ago. And uh, they are more since admin before, and now they are SR teams. So we are more ops than dev. So we don't code yet. We do more infrastructure and deeply infrastructure. And 9% of our stuff, it's in data center yet. So our big challenge is really go to cloud and migrate some service that you have in data center, that things that you have legacy and put in cloud and put it in, in better technology as well. And also we're having some change inside this team because it's necessary. So, and then what happened? Well, our uh, uh, SRA idea is to, to succeed. You need to really precise a numeral project for uh, system availability, as I told you. Like, this is important. You need to um, deliver your service for somebody, right? Doesn't matter if it's for your own company or for any end user that you, that you have, but and you need to guarantee this, that it is working and you don't wanna, that, that uh, I don't know, your, your customer goes there and your website is not working or your service somehow is not working. So you need to fill up some targets to guarantee this availability. So, so because of this, metrics is really important to predict um, performance, and to predict availability and so on. And to do this, we really need like mostly three important targets. That is SLEs, that's the several level indicator, is a measurement that the service provider used to the goal. So you think about your goal and then you pick up uh, a value of this and then you have your SLO. It's not that simple, but Let's pretend that it is. And then you have a SLO, that's the service level objective. That is the goal that the service provider wants to reach, right? So you have, uh, you mentioned the service provider and use, use this for your goal. But then you create a really objective that you wanna reach this, you know? And then you have the SLA, that's, that's uh, the warranty that you give for your user. So like, for example, if I have a downtime, I don't know, I have uh, one day to uh, mitigate this problem, or I have one hour, or I have two hours, doesn't matter. You need to have some agreement and contract to warranty this for your end user. So as I told you, you really need to determine <coughs> these three metrics, three targets, and, uh, and pick up a number that you think it's okay for you to reach like for example, it's not possible to have 100% of availability, so, but you can pick 99.5% and, 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 and tell your company that you wanna reach this and this is your goal, <coughs> but you need to do a lot of stuff to, to reach this and you need to warranty your clients some SLAs like to, I mean, because uh, this is this is really important because, for example, you are a customer sometimes, so you really want things working when you need as your customers. So it re it, this is really important stuff to metric. But right now in hostel world, we're not doing this. We don't follow this this protocol yet. We really don't have these numbers, and really don't have these 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 targets yet. I mean, we are worried about where you. Delivering for your customers, for sure. We are aware for our downtime, we are aware for our, 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 our availability itself, but we don't do this yet. You can ask me like, but why? Maybe because we have just one, uh, less than one year, or, or because we didn't wanna do this, but well, we don't do, but we, we wanna do. I think this is the most important thing. Like, okay, I don't do this yet, but I wanna do. 
So as we don't have our SLO def def defined, we don't have a rebuj. Because the rebuj is, is something like you have your SLOs, uh, your targets, and when you have uh, your, uh, like for example, you say, oh, I want to reach 99% uh, of availability, but then you have a 1% of uh, error budget. This is, it, this is what error budget means. But we plan to define this target this year. So what do we do if you don't have these? How we do a serial, right? We, have, we monitor. We have a lot of stuff, a lot of tools to monitor our service, our, our servers, our applications, and so on. Uh, we always work with metrics. Uh, so we can say like, you can check like how many applications right now we have uh, automated, like full automated, or what chains are full automated, or how much deployment was not um, not successful, or or how, how is our servers, etc. So we, we do metrics. And what else? So we also, Google say that SRL implements DevOps. Google likes to say this, that DevOps is part of SRL. So inside our, our company, we do also do DevOps, right? So we automate, we do automation. So we have a CI, CD pipelines that is not all autom like full automation, sometimes in some pipelines you need uh, some manual stuff like press a button to go, or some some improvement that is manual in in our Jira right now. And also, you're trying to improve more our culture, right? Because as I told you, if you have a lot of a lot of tools, like nice tools, we don't have SRL, we don't have a, a DevOps, so really focus right now in, in change this mindset and change this culture, but these don't change overnight. And, and also like, uh, and more than this, because I think, for example, if the software no longer stays within role boundaries, I think the company is not being different, you know, like it's not just um, broken barriers between DevOps and, and, and dev, ops and devs, but but of all company, because everybody is working for the same purpose, right? You want to deliver something good for someone. Doesn't matter if you're marketing, commercial, AGR, devs, ops, data science, don't care. This is one company. So why not blow, uh, broke all these barriers between all your silos, all your, all your areas? And, and I see already this happening before. And I, I think this is really nice because, because it's really nice sometimes you can, as DevOps or as development, go to this area and say like, oh, how are you using our marketing for this product or to commercial? How how you uh, sell our product? And, and also to, to motivate you when you're doing some stuff and think about it, like how they want to deliver it, how their presentation, this product for, for the end user. <coughs> So I think this is really important, not to, to keep in mind like, okay, let's just uh, broke this barrier, but broke all, you know? And that's it. So if you have any questions, please. I saw your CI CD pipeline and there were a lot of testing. Is that the real thing that you are doing on your Company or some things are manual. We're doing a lot of um, testing right away. We have like a really um, key um, team for automated tests. So we have some stuff manually, but mostly of the syrup, the the new stuff is uh, it's passing for uh, automated testing inside our pipelines. What's your feedback from SRI? Are, is it helping you? What is your feedback? What do you feel about uh, following this kind of uh, mindsets or tools? Well, I actually, like, I start, I start my career as user admin, and then I trans transit to, to DevOps. I work as SRL, like, in, in other companies also, like, two companies. 
But as I told you, I think it's really a mix of things like DevOps and SRA. Sometimes it's almost the same. I think not in Google, but in most of the company it is. And uh, I think my, my actually feedback is like, focus on your mindset, focus on your philosophy. Like, uh, stop thinking about tools. If you don't have a really mindset that you really want to uh, have a, like a, a community uh, philosophy, uh, uh, sh share, share knowledge, you know, I think this is important, more important than, than to buy stuff. It's more, more important like to propagate this type of mindset, like everybody be like a, a, comp a community stuff, you know, like help each other. It's, it's not like I'm, I'm, this is all my knowledge and I don't want to give for anyone. No, this is, come on. Uh, this is not the way that, that we need to do this. And I think this is really all wrong. So, and I really think that most of the big companies that is struggling on SRA and DevOps is because of this, because they are think about software, they have think about tools and not think about people. And people is more important. I mean, we need people. So you need to, to waste money or not to waste money, but you spend your money in training, in mindset, in, and being people, being productive with your team, like working uh, as teammates, not uh, as single persons. So this is my feedback. If you don't have any SLOs defined, how, how do you know which metrics should you pay attention to? This is a good question, actually, because I mean, in in our SR team, uh, we don't have like a a PM, a PO or, or or a project manager that tell us like, oh, we need to follow this or that. We do have some POs and PMs that it's inside, uh, in, inside uh, some squads that we have in development. And we have actually a coach that uh, works for the whole company. And one of the changes is this for these years, like SRI is not going to be like a team, a single team that just like a self-service team that is right now. Like you open a ticket, we solve this. We are going to be inside the squads. And I think this is going to help us to define these metrics and, and, know, and look, know how to look these and say like, okay, this is what we need. We need to, or, or this is not what we need, you know? Because right now we don't look at it. Who looks is the PO, PM, and, uh, and the Agile coach. Actually, we didn't touch these metrics. We do have the monitoring, the, we do, and the other metrics comes because of our pipelines, because of your metrics, uh, softwares that, I mean, our software that take these, these numbers for, for this charge, et cetera. But it's not us that do this charge, actually. Well, hi. Uh, I have a quick question. Can sure. you go back uh, to the last slide, please? Please? Oh, yes, what do you mean the last sentence? I, it wasn't clear for me. So software no longer <coughs> play the role boundaries. You mean that so everyone should be able to like access the software? <coughs> yes and no, but I think like nowadays anyone can can sorry, 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 but I mean software like uh, which uh, you use in the SRE? No, I mean software in general, like ah. like application. I think anyone now can do any application, or even these you have like Git, uh, GitHub that people that people share in the internet, or even your company sometimes some areas can have access for some repository. So if you don't do too much this kind of boundaries, so why you keep doing these boundaries in between areas inside your company? That's what I oh, wanna I say. Thank you. Okay, no problem. You said that the company is very uh, data center centric. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are transitioning from the data center to the cloud. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us what is the most important challenge that you, are, that you guys are facing during this transition? What is the most important thing? I think the most challenge all the time is database because you have like, if you don't really um, make a good plan for this, you can lose data. So the most change right now is this, like, like I say, like, we, this is the big challenge for, for us this year. You have just new features in cloud. So we're starting plan, how we're going to migrate this. But for me, it's 
uh, as uh, in my last my, in my past work, one of uh, the things that we really facing on this type of migration is like downtime, lost data, this type of of problem. So I'm sure that in a host world we will not be different because well, as we are uh, booking website, we have a lot of stuff. Hi. Uh, hi, my name is Gio. I just had a question. I know you weren't there because you mentioned that you've only been at Hostel World for a month or a couple months. Yeah. And I, you mentioned that you've only been rolling into the SRE sort of mindset or attempting to do that for the past year. Yeah. Do you know or were you told what, the, what were the series of events that led to the Hostel World thinking, oh shit, we need SREs? I think because everyone want to, right? SRE or DevOps, this is the was worth for the moment. This is like you, the surfing wave. So it's strange. Like it's still, oh, let's put in LinkedIn that you have. We need sysadmin. So I think it's mostly like this. But now they are really like I think now the managers really facing stuff. Like I told you, like oh, it's not just about cool tools, but you really need your uh, mindset for that. And it's not like you get our sysadmins and, and put on SRN, and that's it. Because no, because you need targets, you need metrics, you need to look for culture, you need to look for other stuff, or other, other type of, of tools. You need to think about cloud as well. So uh, I think it was, was like, let's just do this because we need to put this name, but now they're really worried about all. And I think this is good. Okay, this is both ways. Uh, this uh, is this interactive and it's both ways. Uh, I attended a presentation from Google and they talked about us, uh, SREs. And uh, I think that the, the main difference here that uh, towards what we presented in Austin World is that uh, at Google, SREs simply have a, a veto. They can veto, uh, even on the, the architecture and on the definition, uh, any product, any, anything, any new feature. Uh, so this uh, uh, approach is different from uh, simply develop and operate. The SRE team has really uh, uh, are empowered to do to, to this. So uh, if you uh, pretend or want to go uh, into a more uh, proactive and uh, culture, uh, okay, maybe you can take also this approach. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Thank you. Hi. Uh, and what about support? Do you guys also do support, like uh, being on call and that sort of things? Like support for our user inside company, you mean? So you have an infrastructure running, right? You right. Support the website. <laughs> if something goes down, are you alerted? Yeah. Are you yeah. awake during the night? Yeah, we have a call. We have on call duties, etc. Yeah, we work 24 for 7 and do, do you also include the developers in that? No, not yet. And uh, you don't even include like the corporate team that is the, the users, like for example, I don't know, if your account is locked, and uh, this is for a corporate team, so they don't have on calls. So we do this for us on, on call, like for example, your employee, and something happened with your access, is there a certain that is on call that to lock out your account? So we're trying to tell the big bosses to say like, oh, I think uh, devs should have someone calls. Not, maybe not l as uh, long as us, but, but should have. And the, the corporate team as well. And just for a quick uh, curiosity, um, on your migration to the cloud, uh, are you taking the SRE and DevOps style of approach, working with the infrastructure as code, uh, automation, et cetera? Or are you, pro are you thinking of using more Close to lift and shift uh, action. What do you mean of cloud lift and shift? Sometimes uh, the, the, the approach that some companies use when they think about going to cloud is just take what I have and replicate uh, rather than going cloud native and uh, rebuilding and doing, uh, let's call it the proper way. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we're doing this like a mix of both. I would like to to do everything differently and have like a really different approach that we have in legacy for cloud because I think it's better and useful. But some stuff we're willing to quick delivery know how companies work, right? It's all about money, all about customers, etc. So we don't you don't live in this fair tale, unfortunately. But I I, I really appreciate if I, we could 
um, think about, um, get better, better, better stuff. I mean, you know, like things that you you, you can you be limited because it's legacy, but you're not when you're in cloud. So I could uh, rethink about some tools and even even some way that how that we create some applications as well.